Fortnite recently dropped the Chapter 5 Season 4 Absolute Doom trailer and honestly it is awesome. In that new trailer we not only got to see some new mythics and weapons, we got our first look at the new Marvel Battle Pass. Still a little shocked they dropped the trailer almost a week early, which ruined my third prediction video. I was literally in the middle of editing it when the trailer dropped so here's a quick look at my prediction list before we get started. Now here's the list of characters that will be in the official Chapter 5 Season 4 Battle Pass. We got Gwenpool. Mysterio, Shuri, Emma Frost, Captain Jones I guess, Peel Vereen, War Machine, and Doctor Doom again. And my honest thought on this lineup right now is that this is a good battle pass. I'm honestly excited to unlock and use most of these skins. Now, it is not a perfect battle pass, so we will get into what I don't like about it, but let's start with the positives. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Also use code TOONSPIDER in the item shop when you purchase the battle pass. For starters, I want to say that I think the battle pass went 3 for 3 when it comes to the female skins. Picking Gwenpool, Shuri, and Emma Frost is such a good lineup. Like I have no complaints when it comes to these skins, and their designs look so good from what I could see in the trailer and key art. For Gwenpool, they gave her the classic pink and white suit with shorts instead of pants. I feel like they nailed her look and from what I've seen it looks like she has her katanas, which is perfect. And for people that don't know, she is not in any way related to Deadpool or Gwen Stacy, even though her suit has similarities to Deadpool, and with her mask off she looks similar to Gwen Stacy. Marvel definitely made that a little confusing. I also heard she is the tier 1 skin, which is great because I think that is the perfect spot for her in the battle pass. For Emma Frost, it looks like we have only seen her base version so far, and I'm definitely getting Hellfire Club vibes from her. I think her base outfit looks so good and it's super clean. They really did a good job with it. Now I'm really hoping we get her full body diamond form as like an alternate style. I honestly would be shocked if they didn't give her that as an alternate style, but I'm definitely excited to unlock her skin. Now Shuri looks perfect so far. I love her Black Panther suit and I'm glad they designed it similar to her MCU suit with some small details referencing her comic suit like the necklace for example. Her MCU suit is easily one of my favorites so I'm happy to see something similar to it in Fortnite. As we can see in the trailer and the key art she has that purple kinetic glow but that also could just be from the mythic so we will see once we actually can play. But as of right now I think she is my favorite skin in the battle pass. Mysterio was honestly a big surprise but I was also so happy Happy to see him. He's honestly one of my favorite Spider-Man villains in both the comics and movies. And I think they did his outfit to perfection from what I've seen so far. The helmet looks so good. Not gonna lie, the leaked mythic that had to do with Illusion makes so much more sense now that we have Mysterio in the battle pass. I'm honestly mad at myself for not thinking of Mysterio sooner. I just got so hyper fixated on Sue Storm in the Fantastic Four. I am curious to see what his other style will be. Maybe it'll be like the movie version or a pen and ink style, but we'll just have to wait and find out. But either way, this version that they showed is super clean. War Machine is another character that I'm really happy to see in the battle pass. And from my prediction videos, a lot of people brought up War Machine and said how much they would love to see him in the past, so I'm sure there are a lot of happy fans out there. It just makes sense to put him in the battle pass. Like we got Iron Man in the first battle pass, so it just in my mind it makes sense to put his best friend, also someone that has a very similar suit to him, in this second pass. And I love seeing that black and gray classic War Machine look, but I feel like we definitely need to get the Iron Patriot as an alternate style. Also, his mythic looks absolutely insane. I think that's gonna be so much fun to use. I can't wait to try it out when the season starts. Now for the main villain, the man that made all of this happen, Doctor Doom. I mean, Doom is known as like one of the, if not the best villain in all of Marvel. He has made his return to the Fortnite island, and honestly, he looks so good. I'm glad to see they went with more of a comic accurate look this time around. And it also looked like there will probably be a version where he has like the Wanderer cape, but I'm also hoping we get a comic accurate Emperor Doom look as well. I will say for someone that got the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass, it it is kind of annoying I guess. I, I don't know if that's the right word to use but having to get Doctor Doom again instead of a new Marvel character to the game is a little disappointing but on the other hand I am happy for people that will get to unlock him for the first time and he does look way better this time around so I'm gonna let it slide. Not like I could do anything about it anyways. So all of the skins that I've mentioned so far, I can't wait for. And I'm so excited to unlock those skins and use them in game. Those six characters in my opinion make this pass a 10 out of 10 if it was just them.
them, but we need to talk about the two other skins that are going to be in this battle pass. The Marvel Fortnite remix skins, Captain Jones and Peel Vereen. The positive thing I will say about them is they actually look really good and they make sense. Jones in a Captain America suit just just makes sense. Like when you when we see his face in the trailer, it's just like Oh yeah, okay, I can see that. And Peely has been teased multiple times about becoming the Peelverine from the Chapter 2 Season 4 trailer and then the little banana peel uh, in that bunker. It, it is fun to see that come to life. The issues I have with these skins is not the skins themselves, it's the fact that they're in the Battle Pass. I don't think they should be in the Battle Pass. Personally, I think Nightcrawler and Winter Soldier should be in their spots instead. Two actual Marvel characters. The mashup remix skins should be item shop only in my opinion, like Bright Star, Ravenpool, and Cuddlepool. They're fun and creative, but they aren't Battle Pass material, especially since the first Marvel Battle Pass was all Marvel characters. So people that never got the first Battle Pass are missing out on a full Marvel Battle Pass experience. And I mean, that's really my only complaint about this Battle Pass so far. The remix skins look good, but they should not be in the Battle Pass. And I don't get why we're getting a Meow School Sabretooth remix when we haven't even gotten Sabretooth himself in game like that remix looks good just like peel Vereen and captain jones all three of them look really good but two of them should not be in the battle pass and we should be getting saber tooth first before the meow schools remix but of course that is just my opinion also something about jones being cap makes the character look even more generic than he already was but he does look cool at the same time so right now this battle pass gets like an 8.5 out of 10 maybe a 9 actually probably a 9 out of 10 but we still haven't seen the additional styles back blings, pickaxes, and gliders, so that rating could change. But I'm so excited to see the full battle pass. I have a feeling I'm going to be so excited when I see it, and I'm going to be doing a full battle pass review once it's out, so be sure to subscribe for that and keep an eye out for it. Also, I will be predicting all of that in a different video. So the pickaxes, the gliders, additional styles, back blings, everything those could possibly be, I'm going to make a prediction video since I didn't get to complete the trilogy for predicting the Marvel battle pass. So that will be out before the season starts so be sure to subscribe and keep an eye out for that video but anyways let me know in the comments what are your favorite skins in this battle pass and let me know how hyped you are for season four i am definitely hyped anyways i hope you have a great rest of your day peace